Hello and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, we are going to, yeah, I got a few clips to show you. One of them is Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, basically talking her usual rhetoric. You know, how it usually is with Marjorie Taylor Greene. And then we also got an individual talking about why raising the federal minimum wage to, well, so I say the minimum wage to $15 an hour is better for the economy than basically, you know, the current minimum wage of seven twenty-five an hour because he's talking because he wants it to be raised to a living wage, not a slave wage, is what they're basically talking about. But before I start off, I actually want to uh, give you a, a short clip that is on, is on the lighter side, and I hope you guys find it funny because I saw it and I thought it was great, and I just want to share this little clip with you before I actually give you the other clips. And I'm also going to throw in one other thing for you guys to see. This guy is amazing. I mean, he is, uh, he'll be the last clip to put on, but he actually puts Tiger Woods to shame. And I'll put that on the last clip. But for now, let's give you a bit of that light you must hang about. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Thank you. Animal porn is okay, they don't take this down, but other videos they do. What the fuck, TikTok? Get your shit together. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Animal porn, isn't that just hilarious? I mean, you can put that on TikTok, but if it's regular porn, you can't put it nowhere. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Especially as someone actually catch something like that. And now we actually have the clip from good old Marjorie Taylor Greene. People who breached the Capitol on January 6th are being abused, some even being held for 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. And I'm actually going to be throwing an extra clip in here as well. So there's going to be a one extra clip besides the very finishing clip. And basically now, this person is actually talking about why we should raise the federal minimum wage up to $15 an hour. How it will help our economy and help the people out. And it's actually quite informational. So I'll actually pause out. I'll just pan off to that clip. Well, okay, I'll try to pan off to it. I don't think I can. But I'll just go to that clip right now and I'll be right back. I truly believe that there should be a minimum wage of $15 an hour. When somebody's not able to pay for themselves and or their families, they go out and get government services. You know who pays for it? You. And for others, they're not even able to get the government services they need. So you know what happens? That's where we see people living on the streets. I don't want that. You know what else happens? That's when we see people have food insecurity. They can't feed themselves. They can't feed their kids. And so when we help people and we're compassionate and we allow them to live their lives with a living wage, then not only do we make the country safer, but we put everybody in a position where they're not dependent on government decisions and government resources and government tax revenue. When a company doesn't pay a minimum wage and they have employees that are receiving government assistance, that means we as taxpayers, including you, Jordan Snow, subsidizes that company. That's wrong. I literally went through my companies and asked and checked to see if any of our employees were receiving government assistance. And as I said, I do have a surprise clip for you before my ending clip. And this clip I'm about to show you is basically um, a suspect that is ready and handcuffed and is trying to police brutality. It's not a pretty thing to see, but I'll let you watch right here. And then the last clip I got for you is basically oh, I forget what my, my last clip was. Oh my gosh, I had a brain fart. Oh, that's right. The guy that's actually better than Tiger Woods. You gotta check this clip out. This guy, this what this guy does is phenomenal. I mean, it puts Tiger Woods to shame in a heartbeat. Well, that besides the fact that Tiger Woods cheated on his wife, but that's another point. So 
Here's that clip, I'll be right back. What do you think? I mean, wasn't that a fucking great trick shot? I mean, come on, I, mean, I couldn't even do that. I'd, I'd probably hit myself in the leg or something with that freaking club. <laughs> He's actually way good, don't you think? Well, for now, I'm actually going to uh, wish you guys a wonderful night. And I will broadcast again to you either tomorrow or Saturday at latest. I'll, probably, I'll try to shoot for tomorrow. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And stay safe out there. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party. I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in 